Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick recap and update of this video I did on importing motion capture data from Glycon into Lightwave. For some reason last night when I was messing around with this, it was not working at all and I thought I was going insane. And then this morning when I woke up, it was working just fine. So now I just wanted to make a video to document that it actually does work. So after you rendered out your, your mocap data from Glycon, you can come in here and you can go to import, FBX import, and you'll get a file that looks like this. It'll store in a Glycon uh, folder. So this is one I recorded just last night. It comes in like this. What I did learn is that it actually, you need to have it on bake rotations and light wave joints. Otherwise you're gonna get a big mess when it imports. And then we just go, okay. This is a very short animation, so but I just wanna show you that this actually works still. So then the rig comes in, and I notice that it comes in, of course, at the origin, which is fine. The great thing about this system is that once you get the workflow down, it's gonna save you a lot of time in terms of, of having to animate things. Like you can create custom animations, and, and this is one of the few systems that I've actually got to work in Lightwave where the motion capture data comes in uh, without any problems. Well, I shouldn't say that. Yesterday it was a problem. Okay, so once you've got this set up, you just go to save and you just save the uh, scene as a light wave scene. And let me do this. Uh, let me do this. Save as. And I'll just call this. Uh, I'll just uh, increment this. Give it a, a G at the end. I've done this a few times already. And then you save out that. So you bring it in. You make sure it's on bake rotations and light wave joints and then you save it out and then you go clear scene and then you just all you got to do is you got to come here and you got to load your in this case it's ybot which is uh, a standard mixamo rig and you just bring it in and you leave all this the same except remember to leave it on bake rotations and light wave joints and this doesn't come in at the origin see it comes in uh, He's coming in and resting on the ground there. But the rig comes in, everything's good. And then there's really only one more step that there's supposed to be. For some reason, this is where I was having problems last night. And then this morning it was working fine, so I have no idea what was going on. But I just wanna show you that it actually works. So so there's our rig, and we'll just come in here and then we're gonna go uh, load, load for items from scene. And we're going to go back to the file we just created, which was this one. And we go open. And then you're going to get this dialog box. And then all you should have to do is check this box to merge your motion envelopes and go OK. And then it'll do its thing. And there it is, see? So he's at the origin now. But if I, if I change my frame here to, let's say, 5, I think. He's on, he's on the ground. I could actually change this to maybe two. And if I hit play, he was doing some kind of fist pumping thing. Oh, I can extend this to uh, extend my in frames here. And if I hit play, there he goes. So it actually works. <laughs> So the steps still work in uh, 2020 on uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day. You can still import Glycon motion data into Lightwave, no problem. Okay, take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.